Okay, I'm going to try to show you guys how to download the Cricut Handbooks on the Kindle Fire. Um, you'll want to open it up, and then you'll want to go to web. And I've already got mine pulled up there because I've got it bookmarked. Oh, went to the wrong website. Hang on. Uh, and you'll want to find on the web, you'll want to find the Cricut Cartridge Library, which can be found at Cricut.com. Uh, and then you'll let's see, let me see if I can find one that I haven't downloaded yet. And you can scroll through, and not all of the cartridges are on there yet. Um, I wish they would get it updated, but they haven't done so. Um, let me see. Okay, we'll try preserves. So I click view, and what happens is that the Kindle Fire, if you missed it, right down here it says starting download. And then I can click up here, and it shows me um, the progress of the download. The other day I had about 10 different downloads going on and they were all downloading and I thought they weren't they hadn't downloaded but I went back and checked later and they had went ahead and finished the downloads. I guess it just takes longer if you're doing more than one but you can do more than one. Um, this one's almost done. Now and what I do is I look at these in the uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader um, app and I can't remember if it comes on the uh, I can't remember if it already comes on the Kindle or if I downloaded it, but now it says download complete. And so see, and then what I can do now is I can turn my handbook, I mean turn the screen, and then I can see the handbook. And let's see if I can get past, the only bad part is you can't tear out the foreign language like you can in the handbooks themselves, which I tore most of mine out. Okay, there you go. Now you can see uh, the handbook. Let's see if I can remember how to zoom in on here. Okay, so you can see there's the handbook, and it actually looks, it's a pretty good picture on there. Now let's flip this back around, and I'm going to go to home. And I want to show you. So now when I want to go find a different cartridge handbook, I click Apps. And then right up here I have my Adobe. So I click on Adobe. And there's my list of handbooks that I have. And let me zoom back out. There we go. Now you can see all the handbooks that I have on my Kindle so far. And say, okay, I want to look at um, Sweet Shop, which is actually just a solutions cartridge and there's that one and that's all there is on that one because remember on the solution cartridges you just get the little the little um trifold and um so okay so well i don't want to look at that one anymore so i'm going to hit back and let's say i want to look at from my kitchen so i click from my kitchen and there it is in that view but if i flip it around there now i have it oops Oh, well, it's doing a different thing. You can you can reset it. I still haven't figured out everything on the Kindle. Uh, but you can reset it to do how you want. And um, there we go. And then you just scroll up. And I think maybe on some of the older handbooks, they, you have to slide to the side. And then some of the new ones, you have to scroll up. I, like I said, I haven't quite figured it all out yet. And that's really not a big issue with me. I mean, I don't care if I have to scroll whichever way. And, uh, but there, and then there you have it. Now, say you want to turn your Kindle off. And uh, say, okay, I'm going to come back and look at my handbooks. Just remember, all you have to do is go, which... Mine's right there. Mine's in my carousel because I just got through looking at it. But just go to apps and then go to your Adobe. And that one's already pulled up. But say, okay, I don't want to look at that one. Um, oh, and this will do your recently viewed. But you can also clear those recent files by hitting your menu button here. I put using my middle finger. Y'all going to think I'm flipping you off. And then say, if this comes up and you're thinking, okay, they're all gone. Well, they're not. Just click on documents. And then there they are again. So see, it's just that simple. And it lets you see them real nice. And I love having it here because that way I don't have to pull out my individual handbooks. Oh, I got an email. Um, so that's how you do it. Thank you.